Good morning, my dear children. Dear children, in today's short grammar class, we shall come to know the difference between two prepositions on and upon. Dear children, very often we use on and upon to mean the same thing. We can replace one for the another. Sometimes they can be interchanged. Let's see some sentence examples. I rely on you. I rely upon you. I depend on you. I depend upon you. Where's the chair to sit on? Where's the chair to sit upon? Please don't blame on me. Please don't blame upon me. In these sentences, we used on and upon, but there is no change in meaning. The use of on and upon did not bring the difference in meaning. Meanings remain the same. So, we can say that the use of the preposition upon is more formal. Not only it brings literary effect in the sentence, and generally we don't use upon much, but in certain circumstances we can use on and upon to mean the same thing. But sometimes only upon this preposition works. Upon is used to emphasize on the uh, meaning of a great quantity to mean a large number, a great quantity, a great amount of something. That's why we say thousands upon thousands of books in the library, rows upon rows of seats in the auditorium, miles upon miles of dusty roads. Well, now let's see the difference between come on and come upon. Come on, an encouraging statement. Come on, you can do this. Come on, cheer up. And come upon, someone you have met suddenly or something you have found suddenly. I came upon my college friend yesterday on the road. In this way, expression comes and almost upon. The rainy season is almost upon there. That means the rainy season is going to set in very soon. Is going to arrive very soon. My dear children, do you remember the bedtime stories our moms used to tell us in our childhood? Once upon a time, there was a lion in the jungle. That's short. The bedtime stories begin. Do you remember? Once upon a time means long ago. You know, it's an idiomatic expression with the help of the preposition upon. Once upon a time. So let's beautify our sentences. Let's develop our English day by day and today this much, another day, another new topic. Till then, goodbye. Have a lovely day.